Afternoon, Benjamin Wade here, LJ Hooker Beam Lee. I uh, thought I'd give you a quick snapshot of the market conditions at the moment. Um, it's funny, the headlines all still report doom and gloom, which ironically, sellers are believing and not listing their property. So our buyer to stock ratio far outweighs um, to the seller's favor. So we're seeing, you know, depending on the asset class, between 13 and 40% less stock on the market than it normally is. So you know, that's resulting in great numbers at open homes, you know, multiple offers. Um, we're actually getting incremental price growth. Um, the biggest growth is coming from the strata um, asset class, so units and townhouses. Um, so, you know, kind of, we had 10% growth last month in, in three bedroom townhouses, which is fantastic. Um, and I suppose probably looking forward, I think there's going, this, this kind of, um, um, this situation that we're in is going to continue. Um, we've got, you know, last read was from the ABS was 490,000 people immigrated to Australia. We're only building 180,000 homes. So there's a massive gap between, um, you know, people needing homes and the homes getting supplied. Um, and the majority of those, um, those migrants will be renting. So I think if you're an investor, I think it's a great time to get in the market. I think that there's, as those um, rents increase, those yields increase, you're gonna have some price growth. Um, so if you're a buyer, I wouldn't wait around. I'd, sna I'd snag a property quickly now as well um, that you're looking to live in. Um, but for the most part, even though the, um, we're seeing, we're feeling some stress and financial stress with the, um, with the interest rates. And um, look, another one might be coming right now as we're recording this. Um, I still think there's a lot of people wanting to secure the roof above their head because there's gonna be some growth based on those economic factors. Um, a few numbers there, but hopefully that helps. Benjamin Wake from LJ Hooker.